In this lesson, we're going to focus on evaluating piecewise functions. A piecewise function is a function that can be broken up into many parts. So this particular piecewise function can be equal to 4x plus 5 or 3x minus 8, depending on the x value. So let's say it's equal to 4x plus 5 when x is less than 2, and it's equal to 3x minus 8 when x is equal to or greater than 2. So go ahead and find a value of f of negative 2, f of 2, and f of 5. Feel free to pause the video and work on this problem. So let's evaluate the function when x is negative 2. So should we use this portion of the piecewise function or the bottom part? Should we use 4x plus 5 or 3x minus 8? Negative 2 is less than positive 2. It's not equal to or greater than positive 2. So therefore, negative 2 corresponds to this range. So we need to use the first part of the piecewise function. So let's replace x with negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So f of negative 2 is negative 3. Now, what about f of positive 2? Should we use 4x plus 5 or 3x minus 8? Now, x is equal to 2 in this equality, not in this one. So we have to use 3x minus 8. So it's going to be 3 times 2 minus 8. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And that's the answer. Now, what is the function value at 5? So once again, 5 is greater than 2, so we need to use 3x minus 8. So it's going to be 3 times 5 minus 8. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. And that's it. Let's work on some more examples. So let's say if we have the function f of x, and it's equal to x squared plus 3x minus 7 when x is less than negative 1. And it's equal to 5x plus 6 when x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Actually, let me change that. Let's say when x is greater than or equal to negative 1 but less than 2. And let's say it's uh, equal to x cubed plus 4 when x is greater than 2. And it's equal to 12 when x equals 2. So with this information, I want you to evaluate f of negative 4, f of, let's say, 0, f of 2, and f of 3. So feel free to pause the video and try that. So let's evaluate the function at x equals negative 4. So negative 4 is less than negative 1. Therefore, we need to use x squared plus 3x minus 7. So this is going to be negative 4 squared plus 3 times negative 4 minus 7. Negative 4 squared, or negative 4 times negative 4, that's 16. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And 6 minus 12 is 4. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So f of negative 4 is equal to negative 3. So that's the first answer. I believe my math is correct. I don't think I made any mistakes on that. Now let's evaluate f of 0. 0 is between negative 1 and 2. So we need to use 5x plus 6. So this is going to be 5 times 0 plus 6. 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. Now what about the next one? f of 2. Now when x is exactly 2, the function is equal to 12. So f of 2 is 12. There's no math involved in that step. Now what about the last one? f of 3. 
when x is 3, we need to use x cubed plus 4, because that's when x is greater than 2, when x is 3. So therefore, this is going to be 3 raised to the third power plus 4. So 3 to the third power is 27. 27 plus 4 is equal to 31. And that covers that problem.